Hi, John. Um, Hi, Mark. Uh, oh, no. Alex. <laughs> yeah. This is going to go really well, I can, I can tell already. <laughs> so, um, uh, when did you and I first meet each other? 1989. Wow. What, what, uh, what day and what, what month and what day and what time? I started working at the Boulder Valley Vineyard on Valentine's Day of 1989. Oh, okay. Uh, so it would have been February 14th. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And that was your first day. Was that like a, uh, I guess we don't know what day it was. Well, actually, was. I, the Lord spoke to me about vol doing volunteer work. And uh, mm -hmm. so the 1st of January, I started doing some volunteer work. Okay. And helping uh, your in, wife, in the Donna, office. Oh, in the office. Okay. And Sharman, who was the bookkeeper. Okay. So that was before I was working there. So you, you must have met Donna before you met me. Right. So, yeah, that's always a good first impression for me when I meet. Donna instead of instead yeah, of me. So I yeah, understand. Of, yeah, of, of course you do. We were on staff together, and um, it was just no shenanigans, no silliness. Um, it was just uh, we both worked very hard, and we re rarely talked to each other. That's how I remember it. Is that how you remember it? I do remember Nerf football in the sanctuary, <laughs> <laughs> and you participated. Yeah, that was awesome. Flinging a Nerf football in a sanctuary. Would yeah. you say that's unworshipful? Or? We were having fun. Okay, and fun is always worship. Yeah. Well, hopefully worship is fun. And so yeah. we worked together for several years and we became really good friends. At least that was my, I thought you were really well, good Well, we, uh, we played some racquetball together. Oh. We did a little one-on-one -on -one, uh, basketball. I remember you and I colliding after we were going for a ball and <laughs> both ending up on the floor. Um, I do not even remember that. <clears throat> That's because you lost. Yes. I have selective memory when it comes to losing. I remember uh, the rubber, the black knife. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, that was great. <laughs> so let me just tell you that story. Uh, mm. I was the, I was running the children's ministry. Don and I were. You were the bookkeeper, um, and probably we both did other things too. But um, I had a phone call, uh, and instead of being in my office, we were right in with Susie yes. in, in the main office there. And it was a new new lady in our church, uh, Deborah Ratzliff, who uh, had a question about our children's ministry. And so I really wanted to make a good impression uh, since we were going to be kind of taking care of her kids. And you chose the wrong venue. Well, the, the phone was there. I wasn't going to walk over to the office. I picked it up and I said, hey. And then suddenly someone pulled out a knife and stuck it in my ribs. <laughs> Except it was not a real knife, but I didn't, I, my ribs we, didn't we know We gave that. you a warning. I was like showing it to you and poking at you and you just kept ignoring me well yeah i was talking to a a new church member <laughs> <laughs> so you stuck it in my ribs uh and you lost it and just yeah. totally <laughs> lost it i couldn't talk for some reason Susie had to take over the phone call <laughs> it was hilarious just hilarious <laughs> and i remember another time when um uh, you you came down to the basement and uh i uh, i think i was hiding in the dark and uh, and you walked by, and I literally reached out of the dark and grabbed your leg, and uh, and you just like yelped and screamed. Well, we call that the uh, the dog trick. <laughs> uh, we moved up since you wouldn't come down to where, where we were. We moved up to where you were, and uh, and now we're uh, both in uh, Longmont, and uh, somehow or another we're doing church together. Yet again. Yeah, that's a miracle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's another story. That's another story. That's a good story. But okay. So um, anyway, uh, it's really been fun. Uh, church has become twice, actually 52% funner since you uh, began attending. Only 52%? Yeah, it's been 48% misery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's, you've definitely increased the funness of church. And, uh, and it also helps that you're, uh, you've jumped in. You're part of the leadership team. Uh, you're helping with the bookkeeping. Anyway, uh, so it's just been a blessing. And thank you for, uh, for jumping in. Yeah, you betcha. Yeah. So... Uh, so we're going to talk about, we're continuing, we're on week, uh, I think we're on week 10 of Isaiah, of all these weeks we've been doing, of 12. And uh, uh, you you picked this passage, Isaiah 61. Um, so when we'll get into that in, in a minute, but I want to ask you first the questions. Uh, and that is, um, uh, is uh, divine healing still for today? Yes, totally. Okay, and why would you think that? Well, people... What sort of craziness would lead you to think something like that? Reading about Smith Wigglesworth. Oh, okay. Catherine Kuhlman, John G. Lake, Mariah Woodworth-Edder, 
Um, that one I haven't heard of. I th and I thought you were going to say Mariah Carey. So I'm a little, yeah. a little relieved that it wasn't, wasn't her. Anyway, there are more, but okay. because of those people. But then personally, in my own life, the first miracle that I prayed for, long story, uh, cut to the quick, is God healed my cassette deck in 1985. <laughs> I had a 1979 Mazda RX-7. Mm -hmm. It was a fun little car, but... The cassette, Broken cassette deck? It's, well, you'd put the cassette in, and it was like someone speaking in tongues. It was garbled. Okay. And anyway, I don't want to do the whole story, but yeah. anyway, God Since healed it. You don't believe in tongues, so you had it fixed so that it, you could, there could be healing. All right. Have you ever seen any humans hit, healed? Or uh, just, or, are myself? You, are you better for just um, playing, praying for electronics type of a thing? Uh, no. Not, not so much. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't have be coming here today because I would have fixed those electronics today. <laughs> but anyway, um, my we, we were going to record this the normal way, and it was not working well. But I think he just likes to sit next to me. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh,